Hi, I'm Dave Newton. In this video, we'll be looking at how the EOS R system performs for action shooting. When you're shooting action, the key things you're looking for are autofocus and drive speed, not to mention ergonomic handling so that you don't have to think about using the camera. The EOS R features a maximum drive speed of eight frames a second or five frames a second when you're using tracking focus. And it has a burst depth, that being the number of images it can capture in a single burst of 47 frames. The EOS RP features a drive speed of five frames a second or four frames a second when you're using tracking and has a burst depth of 50 frames. Remember though that the EOS R can make use of UHS-2 memory cards. So these are the fastest SD memory cards currently available. And if you pick one of those, you should find that you may get a few extra frames in your burst. Like wildlife photography, autofocus is a key requirement when you're shooting action. You need to be able to interact with the camera and select your AF points quickly and intuitively. Fortunately, the cameras feature a variety of AF point selection methods as well. Using autofocus point selection methods such as zone, horizontal zone, vertical zone and AF point expansion gives you a variety of options to choose just the one to suit your subject. Smaller subjects will probably be more suited to the AF point expansion settings, whereas larger, more erratic moving subjects are going to be better served with zone, be it horizontal, vertical or full frame. Spending time getting to know the AF settings and adjusting them to suit your subject will pay dividends in the long run too. For those of you really interested in action, the EOS R is probably the one that you're going to gravitate to purely because of the extra frame rate. 